here with uh, Toradex, you're doing some uh, advanced AI stuff. Uh, yeah, we are here at Embedded World 2019 and we show here AI at the edge, what you can do with our system on modules and our partner network. So here we have a pasta demo. If you have visited us last year, you saw a very similar demo. So what did we change? So now here we have an industrial grade camera, a MIPI CSI camera with integrated ISP. So already some processing on the camera itself. It's from our partner Allied Vision and it's a brand new chip. It's called Alvium. So that's just coming out. That's a, that's a very early sample. What is Alvium? Uh, Alvium is basically the ISP, so they use a uh, sensor from the big sensor manufacturer, uh, put it together so you get a system, it's long term available, it's really made for industrial uh, automation. And the special one so far was also Gigabit Ethernet or USB 3.0, and now you can use MIPI CSI. So this is this is a big thing. So it goes on the board next to the IMX 8QM. Exactly, so what, what we run here is uh, uh, Apalis iMix 8 uh, Quad Max. It's here under the heatsink, and one you can you, see no fan or anything. One uh, of the most powerful ones, right? Uh, yes, this is one of our highest end, or it's the highest end uh, module. It has two A72, it has A53, and it has uh, two cheap use. I mean, here actually we don't utilize all of that, uh, but you, you have a lot of headroom. We also work with a partner called Ozone, and they created the whole deep learning a framework how you can uh, go from basically TensorFlow, uh, for example, to an embedded device. So, uh, so then there's a hook into the AI systems from uh, Google or Cafe or something. I exactly, exactly. You can use that, but uh, optimize it for embedded device because these are really many times made for surfers for very high performance. It's very good for. Uh, proof of concept prototyping, but when you want to deploy, you, you need to optimize them a little bit. And that's, that's what we show here. And I mean, pasta, there's no finished one, but it was very easy uh, uh, to create. Uh, you can detect different pastas. Then uh, here, next demo, this is a real world product you can actually buy in a store. Um, there's a camera down there. There is a, a solar cells, and the idea is that this would be at the edge of a pool. So you actually set that down on the pool, and the camera is underwater. Yeah. And it uses our NVIDIA TK1 module, and they also use deep learning to detect if somebody's drowning. So if your kid falls down, if it swims, it's okay. But if it doesn't uh, swim, it can actually detect that there's an emergency, and it uh, sends alarm. It also connects to your cell phone, so your cell phone rings and you can rescue your, your kid or your husband or wife or, or uh, uh, all of that. So it's an Israeli company uh, called Coral uh, Detection Systems. And uh, this is real. We also maybe point out here we are part of the ARM uh, leading edge partner uh, network. So we really, uh, ARM gives us recognition about our innovation we do for industrial products. So what's the leading edge partner? Uh, that means that ARM has uh, two programs, innovator programs, that's more for maker, uh, like very early stage company, and then the uh, leading partner is for a commercial, industrial uh, application, and it gives you recognition if you contribute to the ARM ecosystem. Nice. Okay. And here you have something going on with Intel. Uh, exactly. So we also show uh, here uh, uh, a TK1 uh, a vision kit, with, uh, actually it's the TK1 vision kit, but we, we show that it's pin compatible, so we run it with the IMX8 uh, Quad Max, but here the heavy loading of the uh, deep learning inference runs on the backside on a mini PCI uh, from Intel running a Movidius uh, AI accelerator. Yeah, it's so so in there, hard to see. Uh, Insert but, but, is a Movidius, one, yeah. that's one of the most advanced, uh, people use them in drones and stuff. Yeah, exactly, you can drone, it's very power efficient and it's very a dedicated uh, chip. And we see dedicated application mostly in low power, we have some smart street light where customer uh, begin to deploy this, this kind of solution. And this is a demo that shows its high uh, performance? Uh, exactly, that's a demo, it shows that it runs. Uh, the demo is provided by our partner and Micro, they're very specialized in computer vision. They can help you if you maybe don't know 
have a lot of experience they can help you to uh, realize a product and, and they're what, very familiar with our product and what is a Jer Falcon? Uh, a Jer Falcon, Jer Falcon yeah this is basically a similar uh, system here we have it connected over USB 3.0 and we work closely here directly with that company uh, also driven by a customer to bring a high performance AI at the edge to lower uh, performance devices. I mean, here we run it on our Polis IMX A6. Uh, it's a quad core, it's, it's quite powerful, but you can also run it on much, much lower end uh, devices. So, this is a, a DNN inference accelerator. Uh, yeah, DNN, uh, Deep Neural Network Inference. They use special technology, uh, basically processing in memory. That's kind of their uh, secret sauce, how, how, how they make, make that. Uh, and I mean, our point is really, we collaborate with them. So if our customer is interested in this technology, they already know it works. You know, we have reference design, the SDK, the adjustments are made. So it's, it's all about the ease of use. And USB is perfect for that? Uh, yeah, I mean, USB is very good for uh, uh, development for proof of concept down the road we also expect to have a mini PCIe card or M.2 uh, card you would connect that a little bit more ruggedized a little bit better for our and they have our, that too yeah they, they so have you start that like this and then later you put it on the on the yeah, I mean, it's, you know, probably on a board, but you can even design it down. So they have USB 3.0, PCI interface, and even a kind of a special uh, EMMC interface. So you're working with some really cool AI stuff. Advanced. Yeah. Yes. It's going to be exciting, right? Yes, it's very exciting. We have even one more. Yeah. And so here, this is in our other area. Who is the one printing? Um, so we have here uh, a demo with our partner Nextnor. Uh, it's here on our area about the uh, iMix 8 uh, Quad Max again. And here we have three regular consumer grade USB cameras. And we have three camera feeds running at about uh, between 30 to 40 frames per second. And we do people detection. And we only use about 50, less than 50% of the CPU, and we don't use any GPU. So this is highly, highly, highly optimized, and you can just use that, and, and it's ready to go if you want to try that out uh, on our uh, product. And, and that's here, that's the iMix 8 Quad Max. We, we run that demo, it's there under the, the heatsink. So you're just running on the... On the ARM cores. On only, the ARM cores, yeah. not on the GPU. Not on what the GPU, no. Uh, you, you can use it for other things. You could to pre-processing, you can use it for the UI, uh, you can use it for a lot of other things. Uh, what is this? Oh yeah, so this is a street light and the interesting thing, it has uh, different sensors on it to add the quality of the air and it also has a camera and it actually detects how many people walk by here. And so then this is AI stuff? Yeah, it's not really AI, it's, it uses LoRa uh, to communicate, but it's really processing on the edge. They, I mean, they use the camera, but it's not deep learning, it's more traditional computer vision. Uh, but it's really an edge edge computing application. So yeah. you're more and more busy with this deep learning stuff, uh, AI, you are on the forefront of that. Yes, and we really make it accessible for the embedded customers. So of course there is a lot of done on university, you know, Google, Facebook, Microsoft, they do great great work, but we make it accessible for this, uh, for our customer, in our volumes, in our industry, so they can get access to that technology and we really focus on the ease of use. So how do we get all that from this university in the hands of our customers so they can actually create the product with long-term availability and all that needs they have. Because at Toradex you have uh, experience with the, this industry, so much experience. Yes. You are the right people to enable the AI future too. Yeah, I think we understand the capabilities of our customers. We understand your kind of their pain points, and of course they also tell us if there is something not good. And so, so we know that. And then of course you have engineering, you have good connections to this, uh, to these startups or university or, or the leading edge uh, of that technology. And then we try to bring it together. Uh, do you have many customers that just come up and say, "What can we do with AI? Can you help us get some ideas?" Uh, no, no, not really. I mean, we try a little bit to give them ideas because they maybe didn't think. So, for example, food processing or or we have a lot of machines. A lot of them have cameras. And I do believe that many of them could utilize AI. But, I mean, we show them what's possible, but the ideas is basically coming from them. And that's their strength. They know their 
very special market or very special product they have and they just need to know it's possible with Toradex, it's not two years of development and crazy, it's, it's pretty easy to get started. And then the support for all the stuff. Yeah, so the support, it's, it's shared in many times with partners. So we make it very easy that the partner software works. Uh, we have CI integration to some part to, uh, to guarantee you that you can get started. And then, of course, if you have a question about, uh, you know, the algorithm on, on XNOR, you go directly to XNOR. Uh, but if there is any problem, it's maybe not clear between software or hardware or, or BSP with Toradex does or a higher level, we're going to fix that with the customer in the background. So you, you can tell Toradex or you can tell the, sorry, the partner and we're going we're to fix that. That's a big value of our partner ecosystem, so we're not blaming each other and things like that.